Hi, welcome to Books to Boardrooms with Dr. Kiran. Uh, today, I have the privilege of having uh, Mr. Amanullah. Uh, Aman is the Regional Managing Director for Linksys, who handles the India, Middle East, Turkey and Africa region. So, Aman, uh, good morning. Thank you very much, Kiran. I really appreciate and good morning to everyone. Uh, can you just give a little background about Linksys as an organization, like the product, the customer, the category, what uh, you handle? Sure. So, listen, Linksys is a 30-year-old organization. Uh, we were one of the first to deploy uh, about 100 million routers globally. Uh, we focus on uh, customer, providing the customer with innovative solutions. Uh, our strategy, uh, the product development strategy starts from understanding the customer pain points. Okay, we invest quite a bit of our resources in understanding, uh, in doing customer research both in the consumer and the commercial space. Um, we want to offer reliable, secured, okay, and always on connectivity solutions. Um, so. Like, you know, 30 years of success, uh, we continue to build on it okay, and continue to provide uh, the best possible solutions. Yeah. See, at every home, I mean, you go any home, office, any place you go, I think Wi-Fi is something which is common, you see everywhere. Uh, today, we people talk about Wi-Fi 5 and now you're hearing about Wi-Fi 6. Can you just throw some light on what is the difference between a Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6? Yeah. So, uh, sometime last year, actually, I think it was in April last year, uh, the communication authorities, they decided to accept a proposal uh, to uh, free up the 6 gigahertz band for unlicensed Wi-Fi. Now, that was a huge, huge step because it released about 1200 megahertz of wireless spectrum for Wi-Fi use, which means uh, phenomenally huge bandwidth which was available on 6 gigahertz over Wi-Fi 5. So, Wi-Fi 6 has got huge bandwidth capabilities. Uh, the difference between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E, I'm sure you're hearing about that now. Uh, 6E has got a dedicated spectrum with uh, close to 760 megahertz channels, whereas Wi-Fi 6 uses the same, uh, the congested, spectrum with only two uh, 160 megahertz channels, which means uh, the 6C devices will be able to achieve or able to experience gig speeds, the gigabit speed much faster uh, uh, than, than your 6 and the 5 gig, uh, 5, Wi-Fi five, 5 solutions. Um, the other important point on 6C is uh, the, it has got a mandatory WPA3 uh, security protocol, okay, which means 6C traffic will be a lot more secure than any other traffic. So, these are the few differences, but then in terms of consumer, uh, like, you know, uh, the experience, you will find uh, much higher speeds, uh, greater uh, uh, coverage, okay, uh, there are, if you see, uh, there are a lot of new devices uh, are 6C compliant, okay, so they are 6C capable. So, you will be able to connect a uh, lot more, so especially in the congested areas, like, and especially in congested areas, okay, you'll find uh, far less disturbances. And when there are far low, far less interferences, then the Wi-Fi is beautiful, okay, and... So, so basically, Linksys already got the routers having the 6C. So, when you talk about the, the content and the speed, now everybody got a smart TV at home, so you have Netflix <laughs> live streaming, somebody is working on the computer and a lot of video calls. I think that speed is one of the most important factor and I think people like to have a product or a solution which can give them a seamless uh, data transfer. Absolutely right. Uh, yeah. So, how does 5G play in that? You know, 5G is also people talk about the speed and, you know, it's connectivity with autonomous vehicles and, you know, all these things you need 5G. So, where this 5G pitch in or is, is 6E uh, helping the 5G to transfer the data easy. How can you? See, uh, see 5G will enable uh, a lot more consumer experiences. Okay, 5G latency is far less than the 4G devices. Uh, not every time you will have uh, a device within an Wi-Fi coverage, right? So you definitely need mobile broadband. So uh, one, what we strongly believe is uh, Wi-Fi will be 
more commonly adopted by the consumer, especially because the ISP infrastructure is growing. So they are deploying the 5G infrastructure. So you will see mass adoption of, of 5G technology. Similarly, if you look at uh, our uh, roadmap, uh, our product roadmap, we will be investing in bringing a lot more 5G solutions. Today we have a mobile hotspot and an and, uh, and, uh, uh, IDU, which is an uh, indoor router on 5G. So 5G adop adoption will grow. Okay, It enables uh, new experiences for the customer. Um, 6E will be more uh, in a Wi-Fi space. Okay, and this will be more on the mobile broadband space. Yeah. So uh, there's 5G, uh, Wi-Fi, 6E. What is mesh Wi-Fi? Okay. Uh, so uh, mesh is we launched mesh sometime in uh, 2013. Okay, it is a mature technology now. Okay, uh, but I think you are asking the right question because still 50% of the market is not mesh. Uh, people are still using a router and a range extender. Basically, if you're buying a router and a range extender combination today to set up your Wi-Fi, you are investing in a dead technology. You're basically throwing away your money in a bin. Okay. So you shouldn't be doing that. Um, what, what is mesh? Mesh is uh, you have the uh, main router, okay, and then you lose, which is connected to your ONT or uh, to your gateway in your home and then you use uh, satellites or you use nodes okay to extend your network into your rest of your rest of your home so what is the difference between this kind of a solution and a router and the range extender solution in a range extender solution every time you add a range extender you are losing 50% of the bandwidth Okay. Whereas in a mesh, there is a dedicated backhaul because of which you are getting, if you are subscribing for a 100 Mbps or a, or a 500 Mbps uh, a line into your home, you are able to get 500 Mbps or it's, you should get 500 Mbps, but then in a practical, uh, like you know, in a real life scenario, you may not get 500 Mbps, but you will still get enough bandwidth at the edge of your network. Okay, So it's not that you are getting the you're cutting getting the range you're not getting the throughput but now you're able to get the range as well as the throughput that's one thing right the second thing is mesh actually uh, adopts to your home okay uh, so it understands your home infrastructure like you know when the, the architecture of your house and it adopts to it so it is very intelligent so it chooses the right part to connect your devices to your network yeah, so you are getting better experience. Plus, you get one uh, uh, like you know a society. So uh, it is single password. You are not there are not multiple networks in your house. So it is switching your devices from uh, node to node depending on where the best connectivity is available, where the best uh, throughput is available. So it's a pretty intelligent solution. Okay, and that's how it improves your Wi-Fi uh, like you know experience uh, in in your home. Is this a technology only of Linksys or this is available with other brands? So, uh, Mesh is a standard, okay? okay? So, it is it is not a Linksys proprietary technology. But, but Linksys products have Mesh capability. Linksys product has Mesh, but how are we different from everybody else in the, in, the, in the competition? We have something called Intelligent Mesh. Okay, now that is a proprietary solution. So, okay. we have put all our, like in a learning from, from Wi-Fi, the experience that we have over 30 years, and we build this intelligent mesh, wherein you, so adopting to your architecture of your home, that is, that is intelligent mesh uh, technology, okay? Uh, uh, providing you, like, you know, I mean, routing your uh, devices uh, to the best connection within the home, giving you the right performance, giving the right throughput, that is intelligent mesh technology for us. So that's proprietary for, for Linksys. Okay. So, when one of the key challenges, you know, today, nowadays, you hear quite a lot about is data theft. Uh, people are able to access to other Wi-Fi, other people's Wi-Fi pretty easily. And uh, COVID, you know, really opened up work from home. So IT managers at, at one point of time, they were protecting their network in an organization. So it's one organization they need to manage. But now employees working scattered from different homes. This one of the challenge most of the IT managers facing is again the data security, people stealing the data or exposing the the, the company route the network with external people. So, do you have a solution for that, or how you see how you help these IT managers uh, in this market? I mean, you're touching upon again a, a very important point, right? So, let me give you some stats. So, in next two years, 
42 percent of the global workforce are going to be using uh, flexible uh, workspace. Okay. Uh, a recent, recent survey from Gartner of the uh, company leaders and they said 80 percent of them said they are going to allow some form of flexible uh, working uh, for their employees. Okay. Uh, so, these are two uh, very important data points. The third one is again I will touch upon the data theft that you, that you mentioned. Uh, ransom uh, attacks is up 150 percent. Okay, and the uh, average ransom demand is uh, one point uh, six million dollars. Okay, so you can imagine what you're talking about. On top of this, okay, uh, flexible work is here to stay. So for IT managers, it is it's a challenge which they are trying to resolve. This is where we come in. Okay, um, we have partnered with uh, the global. Uh, cybersecurity uh, provider which is global leaders in cybersecurity which is Fortinet and we have recently launched a solution called Lynx's Homework for Business. Okay. Okay, now this provides ent enterprise grade uh, connectivity solution, enterprise grade security and a single box for both enterprises and for homes which the IT manager is remotely manage, able to manage, provision and, and, and then there is a privacy wherein you have got you can have two networks in the same box, one for the corporate and one for the uh, for, for, for your home network. So this is the solution which I believe perfectly resolves the issue that you have just mentioned. So when you consider that 1.6 million as an average uh, ransom demand, it's better the IT manager invest. So you basically say that buy this router having the Fortinet uh, software and then you install an employee's home so that they can manage the one bandwidth for the office purpose and the one for personal Absolutely. purpose. Really. Absolutely. So, is this product available right now? Absolutely. We have just launched it in the in, in the US. Okay. Okay. And then we are working on a global launch. Uh, I don't have a date for you, but we believe by the end of this year or early Q1, we should have the product available in the Middle East. Yeah, because in Middle East, it's also encouraging quite a lot work from home. I've Absolutely. seen organization moving away from uh, the big offices to let people work from us. So, this sure. will be something which a big problem of uh, lot Absolutely. Of IT. Absolutely. I, we believe uh, there's going to be a huge demand globally. Okay, and Middle East is definitely one, one market uh, where we are going to invest in promoting the solution. So, I think I can see Links is more like a very innovative organization coming with you know, the next sure. level understanding the problem. So, is there anything apart from this thing we can expect from your brand? Oh, absolutely right. I mean, listen, we, you know us very well. Uh, we are innovative leaders, okay. I mean, our, our focus is not to bring you a solution because there is a new technology. Okay. Our focus is to understand consumer pain points and then find, use the latest in technology like today we are using 6C and, and, and 6 okay, uh, to bring in a product, okay, bring in a solution which addresses the consumer pain points to offer the most reliable, secured uh, connectivity solution. So that is what you would expect. So uh, Wi-Fi standards will, 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 will evolve. Okay. So you will see new uh, Wi-Fi technology being embedded into a solution. So, this is this space is, is here to grow and, and you'll see a lot of innovation from Lynx this year. I think today innovation becomes the key to success. I think the organization True. who can bring in innovative product again, some people misunderstand innovation by just coming up with something which has no relevance. But when you talk about the first point of understanding the customer pain True. and bring an innovative uh, or a disruptive product which can solve the customer's pain, I think then you will succeed in the market. Is that uh, the Lynx is the key USP or how you differentiate your brand from others? Because that there are so, so many competition in the segment. Uh, that's our philosophy. Okay, That's exactly our philosophy. We are not here to bring you the best spec product. We are here to bring you the best value product, okay? best value proposition to the consumer. And our product development starts from consumer research, understanding or customer research, I would say, not just consumer because we do research in the consumer and the commercial space, understanding the customer pain points. I mean, homework for business, I mean, you can imagine, you, you, you are already seeing it, right? I mean, it is an innovation that we are bringing in to address that IT manager, the consumer and the corporates, okay, specific pain point. So innovation is key to our success. That is how we have always been. That is built into our philosophy in our DNA. That's how we, 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 will, we will continue to focus on in the future. I think I'd like to finish this interview by talking about one particular point based on the discussion what we had. 
uh, you being a company who provide Wi-Fi and you know that everybody needs Wi-Fi. So by default, if you come up with a product uh, which is price-wise the cheapest or whatever, customer can just go and buy and you can say, okay, I'll, I'll buy a product, give a product, let them buy because everybody needs it. But thinking from a customer point of view where you understand the value of uh, the de data and you know, the problems it can happen, and coming up or tying up with or merging or whatever you do to get a software which can like combining with Fortinet to bring a software and then you're telling that okay fine you don't worry about that so we'll give both so that means you put customer front Absolutely. I think, I think customer that's one of the reason why you're growing in this market and is available True. I mean I, I can see if you go to Carrefour or any of the retail outlets any channel partner your product is available uh, so is there any the last question I need to ask is people are not technically this sound but if they want to get some sort of understanding about which is the right product to buy uh, for their office or for their home, uh, what sort of service you offer as a brand? I know that it's through a distribution model, but do you have any uh, way in which customers can get in touch with you to get some sort of knowledge or education about this whole category? 100%. Okay. The, the first place of uh, uh, like in a call, I would say, is our, is our website. Okay. okay. Uh, it is... Uh, a, a site where you'll find enough resources for both consumer and uh, the commercial customers. Uh, it is very interactive, okay, so you can actually feed in the information of what you're really looking for and it will be able to guide you through the whole process of selecting a new product, selecting the right solution for you. That's that's one thing. The second thing is for, for in the consumer space, we uh, spend a lot of uh, resources in creating planograms, okay, uh, in creating uh, educational uh, displays within the within the retail outlet, interactive educational displays where consumer can actually go and interact with the with those displays and get the information that you want. Plus, we invest in uh, the field sales, right? So you see, all the stores have people either deployed by us or by the our channel themselves, where we spend a lot of time and energy educating them, certifying them. We have a certification process where we certify these people, so they have all the knowledge that is needed to be able to guide to the consumer to select the right product. Okay, plus we have always spent a lot of time and resources in educating the consumer okay through all channels so whether it is online channel whether they're engaging with them in trade shows whether they're engaging with them in 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 end customer uh, like you know many events uh, and through through processes like this where we are sitting and talking about what what the technology they should be investing in so customer education is uh, in the forefront so you will will use every channel to educate them plus we have a very uh, uh, like you know, knowledgeable channel where we invest in certifications. Plus, they can also get in touch with our uh, call center, okay? Where if they have any issues, uh, they can call our call center. They'll be more than happy to resolve the issues online. And thanks, Aman. I think it's it's great when you say if products are made for customers' uh, pain points. I think it's very important that you know you need to solve the customer pain point also. So you have a product as well as all these other resources which will help the customer to pick the right product because there's a lot of products available even from your own organization. Uh, I wish you all the very best and thanks for sharing uh, so much of information because this is one area where uh, common customers are not much uh, aware about the technological sure. change. We only hear about these terminologies, but how does it really work and how Linksys pays attention to that? Uh, thanks a lot for sharing that information. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Dr. Kiran. Thank you. Thank you.